hello guys uh, welcome to the review of the HTC sensation um, I installed a custom ROM on this so I'm just gonna take you through a brief walkthrough of the ROM so when my phone switches on you'll notice you see a custom boot animation where I put my picture and my contact details in case it gets lost um, if the person is nice enough they will return it to me so you can see I've replaced the original HTC logo and you will also notice I replaced the boot animation as well with this glowing Android animation so what I just did right now is a uh, hot restart so it will take a while to switch on we just go over to my desk um, just saying one so it sports an 8 megapixel camera it's a dual core processor 1.2 gigahertz oh it's already booted up so just take out to my desk so we can have a, a, plop, a, a proper look at it all right so here's the lock screen trying to get the best view here you guys will probably won't see it but here's the lock screen here with them so the rom i'm running is insert coin you can find it on the xda developers website and um it's based on the sense 3.0 that comes shipped with the htc sensation but it has been modified a bit you can see the normal lock screen there that you can move around and play with there so i'm just gonna go straight ahead and unlock it and have a walk through so we saw the custom HTC animation then and if we look at it oh it's just doing the wet animation now if you see at the top um it has sort of uh the gingerbread theme on it it's been modified a bit my camera is not so clean showing that but um it it runs really smoothly oh, message okay what's that so you see that scrolling through that is it's pretty smooth and nice and um, most of you have heard of the HTC watch it's um, HTC's movie service so you can download and rent movies on your phone and they look really good actually so I'll just get into the store and um, select one of the movies and uh, do a preview of it see how good it so they load really fast and the quality is really really good you you will notice here on the bottom there's this um, icon for sound if you press that I'll just increase the volume if you if you press that it will sort of do a virtual surround sound so it will now be using this outer speaker and the one behind and the quality is really really good. I'll just press that. I don't know if you notice the sound changes there. But yes, uh, movies look really really good on this. You get it. So you can you have the option of buying the movies or renting them. Alright. Uh, just close that. Go back to my home screen. Um, this custom ROM comes with the original messaging app not so much different to what you know already and what else I'll show you the application tray still looks the same no much change there yeah, what's going on here oh I made it customized but so you can have them sorted according to what you've downloaded and what you haven't so I've got a bunch of apps there what's going on um, the pull down menu looks standard but it's see through as you can see it has a nice background which is different to the one I have on my desktop and you also have got the option, option of going to quick settings there and here you can change things like the Wi-Fi, turn it off, Bluetooth, GPS you know other things, media volume you can also see the RAM that's free and the running tasks okay the camera is very bad at focusing 
so we just close that uh, what else can I show off uh, the dialer looks normal pretty standard everything and yeah that's basically it um, more info is available in my description of this video thank you for watching